Prime Minister give a categoric assurance that while she remains in office, child benefit will be universally available to all families with children? Mr Speaker, I stand by our commitment in the manifesto, which I have repeated many times. This government stands by its commitment about child benefit in the manifesto. Well, since the promise in the manifesto has been broken for the last five years, yeah. nobody must expect Nobody must expect anything from that answer other than the preparation for a banding universal child benefit. May I ask the Prime Minister if she is aware of how many low-income families are always penalised by benefits which are means testers? Does she realise that very many of the family benefits which are now means tested are only taken up by 50% of those people who need and deserve them? Does she know these facts or does she not know them? And if she knows them, does she care? Mr Speaker, this government has put more into helping the poorer families than previous government. In the last two years, the extra help has been in the last two years. The extra help has deliberately been concentrated on poorer families. Had they had, had those on income support or family credit merely had an increase in child benefit, it would not have profited them because it would have come off income support or family credit. Having concentrated in the way we have on increased family credit and increased help for those poorer families, we have done far better by them than other governments. Since the Prime Minister. Since the Prime Minister runs away from answering the question about take-up of family credit, let me invite her to answer questions not from me but from her own backbenchers put to her last night. How does she reconcile a policy that gives tax concessions for free medical care but holds down child benefit? And what has she to say to the Honourable Jennifer Aylesbury who says year by year the manifesto promises of her party and his look increasingly threadbare? is talking nonsense. The manifesto commitment was that child benefit will continue to be paid as now direct to the mother. That has been upheld as I indicated in my answer to the last question on poor families this year and next we're making an extra £70 million available to the neediest families through income related benefit. That is specially helping the poorest families and fortunately because of our tax policies we have had far more to spend on social security. Well over £50 billion now, over a, bi over a, over a billion pounds a week than any previous government. We win all ends up.